guys, it's Amy. How you doing? Today's video is going to be about packaging. Packaging that drew me in and made me buy something. And there are a lot of things that I would not have purchased had it not been for the packaging. I can promise you that. Or at least I would have been more on the fence about a product that the packaging completely pushed me over and just made it so that I had to have that makeup product. So anyway, if you want to see what products I bought just for the packaging, then just keep watching. Okay, we'll start with the one that got me the most. This one, if I had been able to test out this product before buying it, I would not have purchased it. Not in a million years. Even now, like, I don't, I haven't given it to anybody because I don't think that it works very well. And so I would feel bad giving somebody something that is crap, in my opinion. Um, it is a Too Faced Love Light highlighter. And the inside, the inside, the outside is a heart. I have the shade Blinded by the Light, and I'm really shaky again today because I've been drinking Starbucks, so the inside is gorgeous. It has a mirror, and it's faceted like a diamond, so it's the Love Light Prismatic Highlighter, and it swatches beautifully. But I can't put it on with a brush. I just can't do it. I don't know why. So this was a complete waste of $30. And I only bought it because I like the packaging. And I only keep it because I like the packaging. Because I can put it on my vanity or something. The next one is one that really got me too. That I probably shouldn't have purchased. And probably wouldn't have purchased had it not been so beyond gorgeous and that was the most recent Too Faced Holiday Blush Quad and it's called Blush Bliss Blush Palette and this is what it looks like there's all that inlay in there and it's just so gorgeous I mean I'm a sucker for shiny things but with that purple behind it oh and it's nothing special it's just, it's colors that I have. I mean, I'm glad I have them in this formula because this is one of my favorite formulas. It lasts forever. And it's just, I mean, it's a 12 hour blush. But I have these colors in my blush drawer. I mean, I know that I do. I just bought this because I'm going to put this, I just put up some shelves and I'm going to put up more over there. And this is going to be on display on those shelves. So, speaking of on display, I bought the Kat Von D Saint and Sinner perfumes. Well, actually, I asked for them for Christmas and got them. I had received a sample of them both, and I was able, they were big enough samples that I was able to use them separately and use them mixed together, and they smell so good mixed together. So I really, really wanted them for what they are, but these bottles are so stinking gorgeous. Like, the detail on the side, and there's a little, where is it? There's a little skull down there, there's a little skull up there, there's a skull on the lid, and they're both the exact same design, just this is Saint and this is Sinner, and yeah. These I would have purchased anyway, probably, because they smell that good, but I'd say it's like 10% packaging that really sucked me in, which isn't a lot, but I don't know, maybe it's, maybe it's a little more than that, because I knew I would keep the bottles after the fact. So they weren't that expensive, I think they're like 60 some a piece, but, which is not bad for a perfume, just, you know to be relative about it, um, but yeah, I got those partially because of the packaging. One thing I got solely because of the packaging is this mascara 
it's all dried up and can't use it anymore, but I'm keeping it and it sits on my vanity and it is just absolutely gorgeous. And it was a great mascara. It was $9.99 at CVS and I bought my friend one and sent it to her and she loved it and they got rid of them. I couldn't find them online even, and now they're back. So I'm going to buy another one the next time I go into CVS. And then another thing that I got from CVS, which I cannot find anywhere, is this little lip balm in the shape of lips. It's so cute, and I have used almost all of the lip balm. Like, I mean, I've used a lot on the side, you can tell, because it was like flat across the top. So I've used a lot, but, um, and by the way, I don't have my monitor today, so the only way I can see what I'm doing is my reflection in my lens. <laughs> so I'm hoping everything is in focus, but there is some weird feedback going on when I plugged my camera into the monitor, and it kind of got better when I moved away from the TV, but I moved way far away, which is why I'm a little bit over further today to sort of different angle. You probably don't notice it. There's just this crazy feedback. I don't know if it's the cord. I don't know what it is, but if I'm not going to be able to use monitor, I'm not going to be a very happy girl. So anyway, I have found similar ones like these. Um, Tony Moly, I believe is the brand that sells them, but the thing is, is this lip balm inside, first of all, it smells like coconut, it's so good, I think it has coconut oil in it, I got rid of the box, but yeah, it just smells so good and it really, really works, it works so well, so that is yet another thing that I got sucked in by packaging. Okay, I have a lot more to get through, and I've already been talking for 10 minutes, so I will go fast. Okay, I hate loose products. Okay, hate is a strong word. I dislike using loose products. Like, I had an Artist Couture highlighter in Illuminati, which was so gorgeous, but I saw swatches and stuff. I never opened mine. I just sold it right away. It came in a boxy charm, and... I didn't want it because I didn't want a loose highlighter, but this Wet n Wild in Moon Tears, I don't care that it's a loose highlighter. It's actually not that hard to use. I mean, it doesn't close up or anything. It's really messy, but it is so cute because it has a skull as the sifter. I don't want to dump it too much. And... I don't know, it's just the most gorgeous highlight ever. But I just got it because it was part of the Gothographic collection. That's the only reason. So, that's that. Another one my friend got me to get is this e.l.f. Total Face Palette. And inside, it has a bronzer, a highlighter, and two blushes. I got this because it's silver. It's all silver and it's all gorgeous. Just like this Urban Decay Vice lipstick palette. It's all silver and then it's all gold on the back and it's just gorgeous. Got those because they're pretty. They get fingerprints all over them but I don't care. Okay, the next one is another Kat Von D and it's the Studded Kiss Lipstick. And this one's in the shade Noble. And you can tell the studs are there even on the box, which is why I've kept the box. But the lipstick is just all studded. And it's just so pretty. And I love it in my, I have it in the front row of one of my lipstick display things. And this is the color. And it, it's a horrible color for me. It's a horrible color for me. The only thing that I can use it for is to tone down other colors. Like if I put on something that's a little too burgundy or something like that or too brown. 
then I can tone it down. But I bought it because it was pretty, and I liked the color in theory. I just don't like the color on me. So, next guy, it's got to be another Kat Von D thing, <laughs> the Alchemist palette. This thing is holographic, like the palette itself is holographic. The box, I can't find it anywhere, and I know I have it. I wanted to show you guys, but it's just, I love it. And then I love that it's, I love that it has an A, because I can display it and have it be for Amy. And the inside has a mirror, and then it has the four transforming shades, or highlighting shades, however you want to use it. And... The packaging played heavily into me buying this. It was this or the ABH Moonchild that I was deciding between, and I would say 50% of me picked this because of the packaging. So, that's that guy. Next one, I was walking in Marshalls, and I saw something glittery and sparkly. And it was this box. And it's a, the Makeup Forever Artist Plexi Gloss Collection with 12 lip glosses in, them, in it. And I opened it up and it looked like this. And I'm like, oh, hells yeah, I have to have that. I have to. And it actually had all of the colors untouched inside. So I wear these a lot. This one's my favorite. And it's Makeup Forever. They're not cruelty free. I bought them before I went cruelty free. But I still wear my stuff because I don't believe in just wasting makeup and money. But I didn't wear lip glosses at that time. I mean it was when I bought it it was all matte lipstick for everybody. And I bought lip glosses. All because it was sparkly and glittery and pretty. But I love them. They're actually, like, so I re recommend them to anybody, unless you don't like sticky lip glosses. The stickiness is what helps them stay. So I don't mind it at all. And if my hair gets stuck in it, then my hair gets stuck in it. I just move my hair. My hair is always all over the place and weird. No matter what, anyway, so... Yeah, that's that guy. Alright, a couple more things. One is the Alice Through the Looking Glass palette. This is the box. And these are all the colors that are inside. But I knew what the packaging looked like from pictures online. And I'm like, I have to have this. For one, I had gotten rid of my Vice palettes. So I was like, oh, that would be a good replacement. Although it's actually more neutral than vice-like, but that slides out, and then open it up to a mirror, it says we're all mad here, and then it says I'm not strange, weird, off, nor crazy, my reality is just different from yours. And you open that up, and there's a butterfly inside of it. And I just thought that was the coolest thing ever. Did I need this palette? Not at all. Do I use this palette? Not at all. But did I buy it because of the packaging? <laughs> yes, I sure did. Actually, Mike got it for me. And I need to start using it. This actually is in my palettes that I, five palettes I think that I neglect video, which I will link up in the corner. And yeah, it. I need to give it some more love, for sure, for sure. Alright, only a couple more things. This box, this Urban Decay and Gwen Stefani box, oh my gosh, did this packaging get me. Like, I want this on display. This has actually been on display in my room until today with moving the shelves around. I don't know where I'm going to put it, but... This is what, this is the eyeshadow palette, and that's what that box was for, and this is the inside of that, 
It's another really great neutral palette with a few pops of color. And then I also have this one. So it's the opposite. Like this one's black and then this one has the white. This is the blush and highlight palette. And it's so stinking pretty. This is a great highlight. And these blushes are really pretty. This is a good um, bronzer or contour shade, but would I have purchased them if not for the packaging? I might have purchased the blush palettes. I might have. The eyeshadow palette, not a chance in hell. There's no way I would have bought it. But I just want them and I want them on display. And I don't have room in my room because what people don't know about me, because I don't think I've said anything yet, is that I'm a published author and I love books. I started reading at age three and have never stopped. So, well, I stopped during college when I was supposed to be reading because I was an English lit major and I didn't want to read the stuff they were making me read. I only want to read for fun. But this whole wall behind my camera is bookshelves. So I really only have these cubbies here and my vanity and then my two five drawers. So I don't have a lot of room to display things. I don't know. I bought things thinking I was going to display them and it didn't end up happening because I have nowhere to put them. So now I just have all these pretty, pretty palettes tucked away, put away in their little spots, and I never get to see them unless I use them. Anyway, okay, one last one. This is the Urban Decay Ammo Palette. I bought this one. It came with a little travel size primer potion, but this thing has a skull on it. They have different ammo palettes that don't have skulls, and I had to make sure that I got the one with the skull. I had to make sure, and I can't get this out of here. And even like this is so pretty. And it has skulls in it, and it's just like galaxy-like. But this is the palette inside. And it's really pretty on the inside too. It has that galaxy feel again, those vibes. And the colors are just amazing. So this one I would have purchased even for, just for the colors. But I did buy this particular one for the packaging. Because, like I said, there was an option to buy another like, cover of this palette. And I chose this one. So, anyway, those are the things that got me for the packaging and not necessarily the product. I don't necessarily like any of the, all of these. Some of them I love, some of them I don't use enough, um, and some I know I'll never use. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and share and subscribe and hit the notification bell because of everything that's going on. That if you don't hit the notification bell, I know you've heard it a zillion times, I'm sure. If you don't hit the bell, then the videos won't show up in your subscription feed for some weird reason. So anyway, yeah, um, go ahead and do that if you would like. And thank you for watching again, and I will see you in my next video. Peace out.